so we just finished the entire material for mathematics so we need to have an exam and because we need to have a final exam um, I want to tell you how it's going to look like because this is not going to be a standard exam that uh, we have now before before I start I want to remind that this video is directed to management students so if you're an economic student you need to find corresponding video at the end of the other playlist okay so how is your exam going to look like it's of course going to be online you're going to get a link at appropriate time that is given in your uh, uh, in your or virtual channel and this link will take you uh, to a questionnaire that you will need to fill. Look, this exam, unlike any of my previous exams, is going to be open book exam. So you can use your notes. If you do not have notes, I strongly recommend that you get them because you will definitely need them. So all you need to do is to watch the watch the previous videos and make notes that will help you to deal with the problems okay so what are the problems look from the beginning till the end you will be given questions from six different sections and you will do them in exactly the same order as you see them over here you have only one attempt at each question. How much time you have for each question depends on the difficulty of the question. If the question is more difficult, you have more time. Generally, expect that the questions are uh, generally uh, uh, generally expect that the question is going to be slightly more, at least slightly more difficult than they were last year. But of course, last year we could not use uh, notes. So probably this should make your life easier. Oh, maybe I'm gonna... Okay, first let's go through subjects, through all the sections. In the first section, you will be given two questions from matrix algebra. Each is gonna be worth five points. In the second one, you'll have to solve a system of simultaneous equations using Kramer's rule or matrix inversion it's going to be worth 10, uh, uh, 10 points then in section number 3 you will have two questions in which you have to calculate a derivative each of these derivatives is worth 5 points then in section number 4 you're going to have to find maximum, minimum, or inflection point of some function, or find a level of production that maximizes the profit or the profit or the profit uh, in a typical problem that we uh, we did during the class. This is going to be worth ten points. Then in section number five, you will have to calculate two indefinite integrals each of these questions is worth five points and the last section is, is going to be just one exercise in which we you need to calculate area below the function or in between the functions using of course definite integrals now each of you will receive a different set of questions Questions will be picked at random within sections. So there is no possibility of, of course, you can always try to cheat somehow, but I'm going to make it as difficult as possible. And look, just having the formulas is not going to help you. If you not practice how to solve these problems, you will not be able to deal with this at all. Moreover, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put very similar questions that are changed, for example, with just one tiny detail. 
and I'm going to put exactly the same set of answers to the two questions that are different in one tiny detail. If you're going to cheat off somebody, you're going to get it wrong because for both of these problems, there are going to be two different answers. So don't try to do it, just crap up and study. Crap, crap up and study. Yeah, okay. Now, I hope that you can see over here that in total, you can get maximum of 60 points. In order to pass you need to have 50% which I hope you understand is 30% if you have 30 points if you have 30 points you pass if you have less you fail okay so I think this is it if you have any further question, please put them on the Facebook group or you can contact me in a different way but if you're going to do it on a Facebook group this is the easiest for me to answer because I can do it from any of my devices right away and other people will see the question and maybe can benefit from it as from my answer and your question as well. Okay, so I wish you all good luck. Uh, should I say? Oh, remember, time you have for each question. Okay, maybe wait, 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 wait. Let's let's consider this as well. Look, depending on what question you get, you will have a different time to do it. So the rule that I'm using is very simple. If I calculate the exercise very slowly and then I multiply the time it took me by 5 so you need you will have 5 times as much 5 as much time as it would take me to do it when I'm doing it in a lazy way so believe me I'm not gonna try to uh, in, uh, uh, try to make your life difficult with this I'm gonna give you enough time for each question. Okay, so what the uh, uh, so depending on, on the question and the difficulty level of this question, because sometimes it's not even about difficulty. Some questions, some questions will require a little bit longer to do, some can be done very fast. And look, because uh, uh, remember just one thing you will not be able to go back to the question. You do the question that you're getting, you provide an answer, or if, for example, you got a question about matrix algebra and you have four minutes to do it. If you do not provide the answer and time passes, the system automatically goes to the next question and uh, you get zero. So it's better even to pick anything you know, so you always have 25% chance of getting uh, the question uh, correct, right? If you pick them at random. Now, the good thing about it is that you're gonna know your result right away. So, right after you finish providing an answer to your last question, on your computer screen, you're gonna see the result. You will know whether you passed or you did. Of course, if you didn't, just wait until the recent session, you will have another chance. But of course, I wish you all to pass, so good luck on the exam and take care.